Well, nothing like a brainless project when you've got so much more urgent stuff to do. It's fun to make a simple do-it project, try to get it done from one end to the other. We'll see if it turns out that way. So this is a little uh, Chinese pump I bought. eBay job. And this is the end of a Pringles can. This is going to be my uh, input device. You know, I'm going to have a, it's going to sit at the bottom of the barrel here. And I'm going to have an old, uh, got an old nylon knit shirt I'm going to use for a filter in the top of this. And on top of all that, I'm going to put uh, a few rocks and then some uh, sand. I'm just going to use the mineral sand I dug out of the hole. Uh, which I wish I had some good play sand or some clean sand, but just got to change the water a few times so it runs clean. So I'll have a small sand and uh, fabric filter going for me here. And it's going to pump it up in the sun and into the uh, bird bath, which will be relocated over here. And here's the solar cell that is going to run the whole thing. It's a little bit overkill for just a pump. It's working quite handily. But it's going to have to pump upwards quite a bit from that hole to the top of the... Uh... Let's see, it's not even... Will it make it? I think it'll make it eventually. But yeah, you can see it. It's got, it has to have a lot of head to make here. I hope this is going to work. Looks like I had plenty of flow, but I may not have enough head. But we'll see if you know it's optimized, better angle, and everything else going for me. Yeah, I'm losing my light today, but hopefully I'll get it pumping today. And my mounting hardware could be better. I've got a pinch lock going with a couple pieces of wood on this frame, the outer layer of this frame. And this is kind of a weak spot too, but we'll see. A little piece of a 2x4, I got paint on it. If it doesn't crack to pieces, I may have to revisit this and do something better if it doesn't hold up. We'll see. I drilled a hole in the side here. Uh, and then I'm going to cut down to it. Make a notch terminating in that hole. So I've got a nice smooth bottom to the hole so it doesn't split the barrel. I was going to uh, just go through the cap here. That would give me a raised opening too. Should be kind of nice. But I have to feed the pump through there and everything else. So or join the wires once they're through, which I didn't do. So that's going to be scuttled. I'm going to use this cap, but I'm going to punch a bunch of holes through it all over the surface here, like a filter grid. I used about half of that shirt. It's a nice uh, work uniform shirt. But it has a few holes in it. I can't even give it to Goodwill. I get that funnel shaped piece there. Rock's kind of holding down the shirt on the borders of it. Plus it'll keep the sand from immediately plugging those areas. That's the sand lets to sift around the racks and then through the shirt. So I'm going to throw a little bit of this sand in here. Not a whole lot. Probably about two inches. Three inches maybe. And uh, I still got to finish my gap there and route the hose and wire through. I'm about done with this project. I got shirt on that keep the pump from going crazy. Maybe I'll dump some water in right now. Get some more water for later. But that's how she sits at the moment. And a few more racks. It's coming together. I got a hose. I'm trying to, uh, it would have been nice if I had some pure sand. I'm trying to flush the dirt out of this sand I'm using. But you can see it's already going through my filter at the other end. I just stood in front of the... Uh... <laughs> Stand in front of it goes out, of course. But I think it's more or less how we're going to be. Good enough. And the block is going to sit over here. Just the corner of the block is going to be over the crack. A little bit of drainage rack on top of the crack. I put some holes in the uh, cover and 
this tube will go up to the uh, bird bath, which will be right here, and it'll spill off the corner of it, just gently spill over to there. And this will be in the back somewhere, hidden. Looks like the lift is going to work. It's just enough hose to. Thought I bought too much. I was hoping I bought too much. I wanted. Anyway, I didn't want to use such a good hose, but that's all they had that would work. So, about to button this up pretty soon here. Flush this off a little more, and uh, away it goes. Bury things up, move the uh, bird bath. Probably be the next one you see. And there it is, all done. I'll have to wait till the morning when the light's back on the panel to see if it's really working right. But it was working until the uh, light cast over the... until I lost the light on the panel. It was working. So I didn't want it to look too ugly. I wanted the uh, bird bath itself to hide it from most angles. From the window I kind of missed the mark a little bit. I'll be looking at it like this. If I were to put the post in about two inches to the right, or left rather, from here. Uh, I could have hit it a little better, but eh, that's the idea. So I'm not looking at the stupid solar panel, I'm looking at the bird feeder and the birds. And the object is to keep the water fresh from my uh, tanager and other birds that come and really like the fountain. The robins and the tanager, yeah, a couple others really like the fountain. Even the starlings come once in a while. Crack old starlings, whatever they are. Yep, there it is. I'll check in the morning, make sure it's working. I may have to adjust things a little bit, but there's the concept. Finally made use of a solar panel John Audio Tech gave me. And I'm just sticking the rubber tube under a rock for now. Hold it down. I'm going to try to get some copper tubing to go over the edge and maybe make it so it trickles a little bit. So until I get some copper tubing, this is going to be what it is. But yeah, a little bit of copper tubing to finish it off. Give me a little trickle. That's what I'm really after here. So I went outside and adjusted things a little bit. And I put the uh, rack and the hose real low. The problem is it's uh, siphoning out. So it's been running intermittently all morning. When it gets direct sun it runs. Right now it's under this big tree. And the fact that I have the panel just slightly angled to the afternoon side, the west, is uh, good because I've been getting this big tree blocking the panel most this morning. It's been running intermittently. But when it's not running, it siphons back. Especially with the way I have the hose right now. Real low. So I really need that copper piece I'm talking about. They have a little copper piece so it trickles, you know, and come over the edge and just trickle down to the pool. So that's what I'm going to do ultimately. And that'll stop the siphoning problem. But right now it's siphoning. So it's kind of going back and forth, filling it at one minute and emptying it the other minute. Uh, yeah, I'll have to do something a little different. At least position the hose different at the, for now. Man, I'm not used to having neighbors. Got permanent neighbors on both sides now and they're both pretty active. Anyway, I cleaned the panel and then I put some wax on it purposely lit like a bead of uh, wax kind of caulk the edges of the frame and then wiped it thin on the main part of the panel I anticipate it's gonna get hit by birds a lot as far as bird turds so I want a nice wax coat on it so it'll clean up easier it should start pumping yeah I can see it's starting to pump again see the little perturbation it'll fill pretty soon now I repositioned the hose a little bit higher. I had it right on the bottom, which is obviously a mistake. So, I need to get its little drip. I'll need something to hold the hose until I can get some copper. If I can get some copper, I can make it, you know, the sh shape itself can kind of hold it. The wider gauge of what comes on a roll in soft copper. 
And she's starting to fill. It's going to be gangbusters now. It's about to clear this tree. The sun is just starting to clear the tree. It'll be full sun in about 15 minutes. And it's already starting to fill, so... And that is exactly the plan. Drip on that one corner, that one corner angled so it'll drip to a, the tip of the corner. Under those stones is that crack. Center of the crack, right where those stones are. So we'll see how it goes. Water quality looks pretty good. And it'll get better as it filters for a while. So you can get some little foamy stuff coming up. It was going back and forth, bath, back washing all morning. So it's going to take a little bit of cleaning before it's really clean. But I think the water quality will be pretty good eventually when it starts, the filter settles down and starts really working correctly. Nice little trickle, trickle. And it's not quite in full sun yet either. So that's the other if, is if uh, it's going to be full sun in a few minutes though. It's almost full sun now. And we're in the clouds too. Actually, once these clouds clear, it's pretty much going to be full sun time. This uh, panel can do 18 volts. And I'm not sure my pump can really take that much voltage. So we'll see how it does. But it's a good match otherwise, as far as performance and uh, pumping ability and all that. It's a good, mat good match for the task. It's just the right amount. Wouldn't want to pump any more water than that. It's going to pump a little more at peak sun, of course. Yeah, that's a good healthy pace. That's all I want. Well, it was working great until full sunlight came out and then it died. I even put a new end on it so I can just hook this on the edge there. And I uh, thought that was all great, but yeah, as soon as full sun came out, it died. It's an 18 volt panel, it's a 12 volt pump. So I guess the math isn't quite right there. I either need a more powerful pump which I really don't need. This is just as powerful as I need it. It's just about the right size pump. So I think what I'm going to do is get a new pump in a 12 volt regulator. Just use a linear regulator or a transistor and a uh, Zerner diode, but Zener diode. Anywho, so I think I'm just going to slap in a 7, 8, 12 in there and call it a day. I'm going to put these over the end of the tube as a final filter. Um, it could be that the impeller is blocked because I was covering the uh, panel and it changed the sound coming out of there a little bit. Real faint sound coming out of there. I wasn't sure what was coming out of there, but when I covered it, it goes away. So I'm digging it up. I'll make sure it's not something simple. Maybe this pump is salvageable for now. And I probably need to uh, maybe consider putting a regulator on. I'm going to let this pump run if it'll run. If I can just uh, get it unstuck and uh, see how it does. Maybe order another, order another pump as backup and a uh, regulator too. But meanwhile, see if I can unblock this one and put a filter on it. So here's the pump, and I cut it short just so I'd have the cord longer on the other side, just for temporary convenience and testing. But I wish I would have conserved it now, because of course the pump is good. After I take it apart anyway, I took off the uh, cap on the out foot. Oops, all the way around. Anyway, four small screws. 
and this little piece comes off. And then it's very much like the uh, pumps I have on my cat watering fountain, where you can get this magnetic part out if you shake it out. Shake it out into your hand, like you're doing a thermometer, you know, reset a thermometer almost. Real hard shake into your hand though, your other hand, and catch it, which I can't do. I'll hold the camera one moment. So hold one hand out and do it pretty hard. Oh, come on. You can also just kick it out with a needle nose. There it is. As my light turns off, I just shook it out with a bigger swing. I had to step back and get a full swing. There's just a pin on this one side and a coil, or coils, and then this um, centered metal or whatever. Little ferrite stuff. That's all there is. So it's just like the uh, other pumps. And there must be a little oscillator in here in driver circuit. And that's probably what's different between the pumps. Because we see a lot of pumps with the same housing. And there's probably some company making the pump and the housing but not the electronics and leaving for others to finish the product I guess. I don't know. Theory. Anyway this is a uh, fully reusable. It was just jammed solid. There was some grit that got inside that little spacing between that piece in there. I guess there was enough grit to like freeze it solid. It wasn't even making noise anymore so I thought it was totally dead. But uh, no, it was just frozen in there. Once I froze it up and unfroze it, it came back to life. Even with the 18 volts. It, with the full power to it, it runs and it stops and it runs and it stops, but that's fine. I probably wouldn't do that under load. So I can put this back together and have a backup. Or some other project probably actually. That doesn't require long leads under water. So now I see that taking the handle off this bucket was a mistake. Because every time I work on the pump, I'm going to need, need to take the sand and the uh, filter cloth out and process them. And then put the pump back down and put those back in. So I need, need to be able to take this bucket out fairly easily. So yeah, I should have left the handle on. So that's going to go back on when I get this bucket out of here. Meanwhile, it's been, I've been trying to loosen it up. I'm just going to try it with two pliers so I can get a straight lift on it. There we go. It's really tough to try and do it by hand. Ugh. So now I'm going to pour off the sand in the other bucket, get this bucket clean, get the cloth rinsed out, and uh, get ready to do it all over again with the new pump. A little more powerful. We'll see. Needs more voltage though. May not run as much. Plus, I really need to put a transistor in the circuit, but I'll talk about that more later. I just want to get the physical done right now. Well, I off camera I rinsed the soil really thoroughly several times. Uh, filled the bucket with water, you know, with a hose. Uh, blowing the, gushing the sand around. Then dumping out the all pretty much the organic stuff in the soil. Taking it from a soil to just sand basically at this point. Sand and rocks. I got those rocks I use at the bottom. So now I can, uh, so I can see the water sitting on the side is even clean. So as yeah, a filter medium it's coming along quite well. Now I'm just going to dig the hole a tiny bit deeper Otherwise, dirt will fall in and make it higher than it was. And the flies are biting. Anyway, I've got the pump at the bottom there. I rinsed out this cloth. I'm going to put this back on and then the soil back on. Or not the soil, but the uh, rocks and then the sand in the other bucket. Turned out pretty well rinsed. 
I also put a little piece of cloth over the inlet of that, the inlet hose. Uh, I cut some earlier for it that didn't work because I couldn't open them up. So I grabbed the hem off a different shirt and it's pretty fine material. Hopefully it doesn't clog it up. So I've tucked in that shirt after rinsing it out thoroughly around my in, uh, my intake pickup. So it's kind of a filter for it. In addition to the little sock thing I made for it. And I reduced some of the rocks that are in here. I'm gonna take some of the biggest ones out. I just really need a few just to weight down this thing. I'm going to use this for a cap this time. I drilled bigger holes in. That was a mistake to use those little holes. I was not counting on sand getting in it. That's going to be have just pure rocks, but of course that never happens. Anyways, uh, and then through the rocks I'll be able to find this piece and have direct access down into there to see the water or to add water directly. And what I'm going to have to do shortly is, uh, I'm going to order the part now, so I'm going to get a level switch. And uh, it's a long, I think about that long, it's a float on the bottom. And that way the pump won't run when the thing is below a certain level. That'll force me to fill it up if I want it to work and not damage the pump or anything. So that's going to be in the future when I get the part. So I'm not going to snap this on hard, I'm just going to put it on top, semi-snugly. And what else? That's about it. And just see if I have some EPM or something to... Uh, Direct a little bit of water off of these other edges, but I'll see what I got. There we go for now. And there it is all loosely together. Like I said, I'm still going to go back in there and uh, probably put a big transistor in line with the positive lead. Let the draw this on paper. And uh, have a float switch turning it on and off. But that's for another adventure. It's just wired now so it'll run hopefully. And there she is running. With the uh, 12 to 24 volt pump in there. Still debating what to do. It doesn't run until it's in full sunlight. It's probably okay. I do want it to run a little bit into the uh, fall and early spring, you know, when I have an extended season. Obviously it's not going to run when it's 10 below out. Well, that's how it sits for now. We'll see how it goes. My next uh, update to this thing will be when I get a uh, level float switch in there. I'll have to install that float switch. Right now the wires are twisted together underneath the uh, brick there. <laughs> they can fall apart real easy. I had a chipmunk under there so I was worried that it might have taken the connection apart, but it started working. But like I said, it didn't really start working until almost noon when it got in full sunlight. I got uh, these trees on my right here will shield it until about then. We'll have to see if it scares the birds away or not. If the birds will get brave enough to use it. I'll have to get, learn to use it. And then again, it's not going to do this all day. You know, it's only going to cycle when there's full sunlight on top. Ugh. I'm going to use this cap, but I'm going to punch a whole bunch of whole little. I'm going to use this cap, but I'm going to punch a whole bunch of whole little. 